wow, morning everyone, it's early. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be taking you on my journey to Spain as we're heading to Benidorm, as we take you through the airport, onto the aircraft, over the other side as I get my car hire, and eventually onto the hotel. I'm gonna take you on the whole journey. It's about three in the morning. I've just stayed at the Premier Inn. I need a coffee. So I don't know about you, but when it comes to airport parking, I always try to go for the cheapest option, which is normally the furthest away. But today I've paid just only actually a little bit extra and I found a really great deal to park literally right next to the airport. And I'll show you just how close this is. Here we are, short stay, which is literally right next to the terminal. Don't you just love the sound that makes? It's very satisfying on the ear. Kind of good, tells me how many spaces are left. Obviously ground floor is full, although it doesn't look full. Oh, this is tight. This is like the biggest lift in the world. That's quite handy. Even in the car park, they've got details about the flight. I've already prepaid, so I don't need to worry about that. You can actually see the terminal building just in front of us. So you can stay in that hotel over there, which is uh, Radisson, I think. And that's like even closer to the terminal if you're really lazy, but that's quite pricey actually. So in total, that took me five minutes to get from the car to the terminal building, nice. Especially when it's this early in the morning, I still need that coffee. I've just got to find where my bag drop is. Now I'm traveling with Ryanair, which means uh, there'll be rather long queues, no doubt, for the bag drop. It opens about two hours before my flight, which is around about now. Let's hope there's not too much of a long queue. So I'm looking for Ryanair, Alicante, 685, desk open, 83 to 95. Well, I'm surprised. It's, um, it's really quiet. What's going on? Don't you hate it when there's no people? You've got to walk all the way around these. <laughs> like zigzagging. So last time I was at Stansted was a, uh, probably around about nine months ago, but what's really good now is they've got a self-service bag drop check-in, which is good. Let's hope it works without a hitch. Okay, so I've just seen someone's passport. I better hand that in, someone to be thankful. That's not my passport, I've just found that on the floor. You found it on the floor? <laughs> yeah. Someone won't be guided. Flying to um, Alicante. Yeah. It's the thing that everybody dreads. Will it fit? I'd say that fits. That bows out a little bit. So that is so confusing. Even though my bag fits, it can't actually go in the hold. Got to pay extra. So you now have the option when you go through security to get the fast track pass. It's obviously got a fast track pass, right? But I'm stuck in a queue for the fast track. I think it's just faster on the other side. That's why. But uh, yeah, I can't film, so obviously I'll see you on the other side. Well, was fast track worth it? It was actually, even though it's like four in the morning, there was still quite a queue to get through security. So uh, yeah, it was quicker, even though I had to queue to get into the fast track. Always gotta have a quick spray. Smell nice for the aircraft. You never know who you're gonna sit next to. Dead man fingers. Pineapple rum. Interesting.
I have to say, I love the floor, so sparkly. This is my favorite fragrance, especially for summer. CK Summer, zesty. I wonder what is actually open at this time in the morning. There's a lot of people in the airport, so uh, hopefully most things are open. Tenemi, 635 Alicante. I love that when they say, relax. Don't know if I'm hungry enough for breakfast just yet. Could go for a bacon sandwich, maybe. Wow, that is busy in there. I'm heading to the trusty Weatherspoons. Four in the morning and the place is absolutely even. Got to try and find a table somewhere. Okay, so I couldn't wait any longer in those queues in Weatherspoons. It was ridiculous. All I wanted was a coffee. So I've come to Joe and the Juice for a coffee which took about 10 minutes, even though there's not much of a queue in here, but it is presented nicely. It's even got a little heart on it, how cute. So just a quick mention about Ryanair and the bags. Now, obviously I paid for the bag to go in the hold, which allowed me 20 kilograms. Now, since the pandemic, I think Ryanair have changed their baggage policy, which you might remember used to be able to go on board with like one little holder, which used to be able to fit in the overhead lockers. Now it has to be a very small bag that fits under the seat. And it's a little bit confusing. Those little bin things are still there to put your bags in. And you think to yourself, oh, my bag will fit in there. Good times, I've paid for it. But no, if you took it to the gate, they would charge you like 60 quid to take it on the aircraft. So it's probably a good job that I actually uh, paid to put it in the hold. Thank you for shopping at Boots. So the gate information is up and uh, we're at gate 86. Bit of a long walk. Not going on the train. 10 minute walk. Do you know what, it's actually crazy. I don't think I've ever seen the airport this busy. It's literally a day after the bank holiday. Do you know, I never understand why people like rush to the gate and queue up. Why don't you just wait till the very end until everyone's on the aircraft, get on the aircraft and then go. That's what I'm gonna do. There you go, last one on. Thank you. So I'm boarding on the uh, the rear of the aircraft. So right now we're quite cheeky, right? Um, if you don't want to pay to get an assigned seat, they will assign you a seat which is always in the middle. And they know a lot of people don't like sitting in the middle, so they do that. So you will then choose a window seat. But if you wait till the very end and the flight's not too full, hopefully you can sit wherever you want. <laughs> Last one on the plane. Okay, so we're waiting to take off. I don't think I've ever been on a flight so quiet before. Before I take off, hardly anyone's talking. It's freaking me out a little bit. I'm whispering because otherwise it'll be really loud. Welcome to the Commander of the Reserve Captain Mike, I think the because of his Jason. My name is Helen, I'm the supervisor of this flight today, and together with my team, Maria, Shady, and Alessandro, we shall take great care of you into this flight. The flight time is they don't really have in-flight magazines anymore so if you want to order any food you've kind of got to check out the app a breakfast deal for three euros and for that i'm gonna get a ham and cheese croissant and a cup of coffee that's pretty amazing you can actually see the contrails for all the other aircraft that have flown above and the shadow is on the clouds isn't that amazing these are like the filter coffee ones. They do taste pretty good though. So the cheese and ham croissant, I tell you what, it looks a lot smaller than the photo. There you go. This and this and this, 10 euros. Wow. Ryan A's 
delighted to welcome you to Alicante, where your local time is approaching 10 minutes past 10 o'clock. Please remain seated with your seatbelt secretly fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. It's Captain and Switch Off Fasten Seatbelt. Thank for you. Well, I've arrived. That was quite a pleasant and quick flight, actually. Well, I'm actually the first one here at Baggage Reclaim. And uh, I've just noticed there's a bit of a, uh, a blockage. Should I, uh, should I do something? <laughs> Otherwise, this is gonna cause a delay. In fact, hang on. Is that my case? I think that might be my case. Oh, no. <laughs> what are the odds on seeing my case so soon? Wow, I feel like a VIP. I was the first one to get the case. So I come out of the arrivals hall and I head straight to where my car hire is and it looks shut located 30 meters away on the same floor. So when you hire a car, there's always a blooming long wait. Take your ticket, I have a booking. Oh, gotta wait my turn. Yikes, a bit of a wait. So as always, getting car hire is so confusing. You have to always read the small print. Just realized I thought I'll pay for extra insurance, which it said online, peace of mind. What they don't tell you is when you actually get here and pick up your car, it's not insured with them. So in other words, basically, if you get into an accident, you have to pay the money up front, which could be thousands of pounds, and then you claim it back, which could take months. So obviously they will then try and charge you an extra 60 70 euros for their insurance or you pay a deposit of 1100 euros so yeah it's confusing best to check the small print so now it should be just as simple as picking up my keys Hola. thank you 220 okay thank you God, everything's so confusing. Numbers, numbers everywhere. 220. Here's my beast. And now all I have to do is drive to Benidorm. 45 minutes. They would have to make the exit really tight, especially when you don't want to scratch the car. high-rise buildings. There's a lot of them. Tell you what, now I wish I'd uh, got a coach straight to the hotel. So the hotel should be up here. Apparently it's got a nice sea view. Is there a lift? And here is the hotel I'm staying in. Hola, checking in please. Um, Tim, thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh, a posh lift. So I'm in room 103, and uh, what I've done for an extra 50 euros, I thought, well, why don't I upgrade and get a sea view room, which apparently is one of the best in the hotel. 103. Oh, this note's been cleaned and sanitized. So this is the room. Throw the stuff down. 
got light. Oh, so let's do a little bit of a room tour. Nice double bed, big old TV. Let's see the view we've got. So I'm literally just near the old town. Wow, got a bit of a sea view straight away. That is nice. Let's just quickly check out the bathroom. Oh, I've got free stuff, free shampoos and shower gels. Oh, I really would love the bath, but I'll, I'll be happy with the shower. But this is what it's all about. This is why I paid that little bit extra because the, uh, the view is totally amazing with the balcony. Are you ready for this? Wow. Now this is what I call a view. Yeah, I think this will do. So just quickly got changed and uh, there is something pretty cool about this hotel and that is up at the top, they've got a bar and also a hot tub, which apparently is very nice at sunset. It's open till eight o'clock tonight, so fingers crossed if it's not raining or if it's not too cloudy, I might go in there. OMG, look at this. And there's nobody else up here. <laughs> so I could literally get in this hot tub and enjoy what is an incredible view. Look at that. This is a pretty cool hotel because I can see one side of Benidorm and then of course I can see all the way across to the other. So apparently this is quite nice at night. This is a little bar area. It's not open right now. But yeah, be very nice sitting there and getting a drink overlooking that uh, beautiful church which I hope doesn't keep ringing all night long. But you can actually see the old town just below me. So if you fancy seeing more of my adventures in Benidorm, don't forget to click the screen right here. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tell me if you like these kind of videos, and I'll do a few more of them.